how do you define them as being different? And um, yeah. Uh, the biggest difference, so EBITDA would just be a sh short, essentially profit. So it's short for what? Earnings before interest, taxes, uh, depreciation, and amortization. Is that right? Yep. So that would be, it's like it's just sort of a way of saying profit from an accounting perspective. Free cash flow, though, is how much cash the organization is actually putting off at, um, and is not tied up in other parts of the business in working capital. Um, so the short version of that is that like, if you are able to collect money before you buy the product, before, like, before you manufacture the product, then you have a negative cash conversion cycle, um, yeah. which means that the, you're putting off the cash and you don't have to tie any of it up in storing inventory. And that's the main problem for all of us in e-commerce is inventory storage. So, um, so the more working capital intensive a business is, um, typically that's going to reflect in things like how good of terms you have with your manufacturers and um, and so if you, if you can pay later for products, then, um, then, you know, you're going to have better, you're not gonna have as much money tied up in inventory. And if you, um, are able to, um, basically have less cash tied up in those places, you're able to have more free cash flow. That's really the, the basic idea. So that is the, right now the market values free cash flow more than anything else. Um, and it's kind of that simple. If you want like a basic primer on this. Um, what I would look up is how finance works by Mahir Desai. Maybe Austin, I don't know if I could put this in a show note or something like that for you. Um, if we'll that's workable at all. Yeah. Cool. Um, and there's like even a little simple YouTube video that he did of an hour lecture, I think at University of Toronto or something where he, he, um, this is a Harvard Business School guy and and just says like, here's the basics of thinking about finance in these businesses and walks through some examples. But yeah, so putting off cash in that respect. So the better your terms are with the manufacturers, the more money you can collect up front for products, um, all those kinds of things, that's going to be what is, uh, is, is putting off cash flow. It's that you can actually pocket your profits. They all improve your, improve your valuation. Big time. Yeah, yeah.